What do you think I'm gonna see? Dirty fishes. Dirty fishes, uh oh. You know? Jellyfish. Oh, jellyfishes. Okay. I thought you said dirty fishes, which is the name of my new ska band. Did you know that? Where are we going, Pat? I'm going to the bus elves. Are there elves down here? I don't think so. I'm going to find out where the elves are. Is there water? What's that rain there? What? I don't know if this will be deep enough to even do. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think it's deep enough. Alright, I'm back with my expert helpers here. Kutana State Park, this is our last stop on our family camp trip. What lives down in our adventure. Expert Pearl here thinks there's no fish in this creek. I think there might be. So we're gonna drop the camera here. It's really shallow. I'll be lucky to get the entire camera under the water. Give it a couple minutes, we'll see what happens. Oh yeah! Okay. See, red light's blinking. Good to go. Go, Papa, go, Papa, go, Papa, go, Papa. Okay, I'm gonna put it right. So it's pointing under the bridge shade. So we good to be able to focus in the dark a bit. On three out of the four of these cam trip videos, I've come across sticklebacks. While I think they are super interesting, I give them plenty of spotlight in episode three at the Gualala River, much further north on the California coast. Sticklebacks aside, what else do you see moving in here? Look closely. What is that on the branch behind the fish? Is it a leech? An insect? Possibly a newt? Let me know in the comment section what you think that was. Drop it for probably one minute or so right in this sunny spot. This time facing upstream. Just deep enough for the camera to be underwater. Okay, I think that's probably good for this spot. All right, here's another bridge off the main road. This bridge is pretty great. Here is the creek again. But I don't think there's anywhere on this side that I can get the camera in. So what do you think? Do you think I can get it down in this little pool? Maybe. Down there? This side. This side, you could definitely put your Yeah, camera. looks much deeper, calmer. So we're gonna drop the camera off this bridge right here, and there are some cool pools of water, and we're seeing minnows and whatnot down there. So I think uh, it's worth it. 
at least to give it a couple minutes. Tons of water skeeters. There's a lot of ivy, poison oak, ferns, these horsetails, a lot of riparian vegetation. There's got to be some life going on down there. The ranger comes by. He's going to be like, what are you doing, dude? Yep. Really, you going to vouch for me? Yeah, I'm going to you're gonna vouch for me. What does that mean? It means you're gonna tell the ranger, no, he really is trying to be a YouTuber. Oh. It's like a midlife crisis thing. In a creek this clean and clear, I was really hoping to see something special, something unique that I hadn't seen before. So I imagine my excitement when another stickleback swam into view. The three-spined stickleback gets its name from the three sharp spines in its dorsal fin, which it can pop forward to defend itself from predators. What's cool about this creek this waterway is that there are some protected species of newts in here. All right, this bridge is bigger, but it's also the main traffic bridge. So it's a little more sketchy for Pearl and I to hang out. Spotted a pretty interesting looking small long fish. So we've come down under the bridge this great spot. Alright, there's a nice deep little pool here. It's about 20 inches deep, maybe two feet. I'm gonna get this camera in there. some kind of little little bottom dweller um, and I want to know what it is so I keep startling it hopefully we'll be able to get to see something oh yep there's a fish swimming right in front of the camera right there Can you see that I saw a fish in here I saw something pretty long narrow longer than what would uh, be a mosquito fish. So, super curious. my camera. It's a little buggy down here. A lot of mosquitoes. And all sorts of gnats and whatnot. So we're not going to hang for too long. There's this dam here in the creek, which I don't know why it's here, what purpose it serves, because it connects to that uh, waterway there that I was pointing out earlier, like the slough that goes way down, quite a distance from here. Pearl, what do you think? Wow. Awesome. I've got this dark pool here that is draining off the dam. It's over here, and that's where it connects to the waterway. The water is barely moving through here. It's a real light current. So I think 
there is probably going to be some interesting stuff living in that deep, still pool right there. just spotted these crayfish parts. Those were, I'm sure, torn apart by a raccoon, maybe a possum, maybe even a large bird, but most likely a raccoon. So while that camera is sitting in the pool just above the dam, Pearl and I scouted this amazing pool right here. Nice and still, there's big old dragonflies landing in it, which is, means there's probably a dragonfly larva in it, which means there's probably stuff to eat to them some type of fish. Who knows? But we've got to explore that. And just like that, our perseverance on this day has paid off. Not only do we have here a brand new species for what lives down there, but we have the channel's first salmonid. Salmonids are a family of fish that include salmon, trout, chars, freshwater whitefish, and graylings. Now this is the juvenile, without a doubt, but unfortunately it would be really difficult to get a 100% accurate idea on what species this is. Since we're above a dam, no anadromous species like salmon or steelhead could have swam up here to spawn, though steelhead are released in these creeks further downstream. After some quick research on what fishermen catch in these creeks, the most likely candidate is probably a rainbow trout, which is also a steelhead. Confusing, right? Steelhead and rainbow trout are two distinct variations of the same species, Oncorhynchus bicus. Steelheads swim out to sea where they live most of their lives before returning to the exact freshwater stream in which they were born in order to spawn. After spawning, they return to sea and may even live long enough to do it all again, unlike salmon, which die after spawning in fresh water. Rainbow trout, on the other hand, live their entire lives in freshwater creeks. They tend to be smaller and less streamlined than steelhead and are far more colorful, hence their name. My guess is that the blinking red light of the GoPro is drawing these fingerlings in to investigate. With this much closer view, it makes me wonder if the fish we saw under the bridge earlier in the day could have been even younger rainbow trout. Not quite what you would call fry, but what would be known as a par, since their visible dark bands and spots are referred to as par marks. Regardless, rainbow trout are one of the most revered and quintessential freshwater game fish, and one I consider to be the most beautiful. So it is very exciting to find them here in any capacity. actually do see anything, I'll put the uh, scientific name up on the screen, like normal, try to get a positive ID, do a little research as needed to confirm what it is I'm seeing, and uh, yeah, that was great, super beautiful spot, Katana State Park, Pescadero, this is amazing, highly recommend it. Yay! What was that song called? Rainbow Forest. What? Rainbow Forest. Rainbow Forest. Love it.